So I'm going to draw a graph graphical representation of our program. So here's the x and the y. This represents uh, time, uh, actually money and time. Okay. So we know that your average bill is two hundred dollars because you've already input their information. So this is going to show up in the calculator tab of I sales. So two hundred bucks. So for the year, that's going to be twenty-four hundred. Okay. Now, historically, rates have been going up 4.9% across California, but actually in your utility, Edison, San Diego, PG&E, those have been going up quite a bit more. They're more like 6 to 9% uh, in recent years. Uh, going forward, it looks like it's going to continue on that trend. Truth is, we don't know, right? We don't have a crystal ball. But what we assume on our paperwork is what we consider a very conservative 4.5%. Now again, we don't know the future, but would you agree that that is realistic or at least, or conservative or at least realistic? Realistic. Okay, fair enough. So we'll use that figure. So what I'm going to ask you to do is get out your calculator uh, on your phone. Mm -hmm. And if you would, take that annual cost of power at 2400 bucks, mm -hmm. and multiply that times uh, 1.045. 2508. Okay. Um, and it's going to continue to compound and grow, so if you would, hit that nine more times for me. And what number do you get? 3,800. Okay. So in 10 years, you're somewhere around $3,800 for power. Isn't that amazing how much it grows up, or goes? Um, now, uh, I hate to ask you, but if you would, hit it 10 more times. Blah, 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 blah. What do we have? 6,000. Yeah, I think it was like 5,800. Okay, wow. So you see how big it gets, right? Now again, we don't know for sure. It could be less than that, it could be more than that. Truth is we don't know, but we're pretty sure the rates aren't going down. That's a good one to, to mention. Pretty sure the rates aren't going down. So now that you've you know, shown them how it's going up, now we can actually draw the line. Okay, so what you wanna do is say, okay, so here we are. This is kind of the current situation. What you wanna do is draw a perfect 45 degree angle. A lot of people draw a really swooped kind of, uh, line here, but we want to do a nice, firm arrow. Um, arrow, why? Why do we draw an arrow? Because it's, it's never ending, right? And you can go ahead and write the utility there, and you can say, you know, cost without solar or before solar, whatever you prefer. Um, now, before you move on to the solution, you really, you got to do this question-based selling. So what you want to do is ask this question. Would you agree that if you do nothing over the years, over 10, 20 years and beyond, if you do nothing, all of this money would be going to the utility? Okay, you wanna get a yes there. Even though it's obvious, you wanna make sure you ask that question. Okay, what we're gonna do is just take that money, redirect it back into your home, and then the rest back in your pocket. Okay, so now you come in with the solution. Now the first thing, before you actually draw the fixed solar line, you want to talk about the after solar line, how low we're going to get their bill. Okay, So here you are now, what we're going to do, we're going to come in, install the system, take care of all the upfront costs, and we're going to lower that bill as low as we can, Okay, hopefully down here. And that will continue to go up a little bit. Okay. Now you want to be very careful where you draw this line. You want to do your homework before you show up for the presentation. Some people may have a huge bill on a really small roof. We might only be able to offset 50% of that bill. So in that case, you'd want to draw that up here. Whatever you want to do, set the right expectations. If they're expecting a 90% offset and they only get 70, they're going to be upset. Okay, so make sure you do your homework there. So that's what happens here. You're still connected to the grid, which is good. We use them like a battery. But now we're going to come in with the fixed solar cost, right, like the gas card. Now, where we come in, related to where you are today, depends on three key factors. One, your kilowatt usage, which you got for me, thank you so much. Your roof analysis, which we've already done. And then that third component is credit. Now, based on those factors, that's going to determine where we come in. Some people are coming in about the same. Some are coming, saving day one, which is great. Some people are paying a touch more. But it's temporary, because instead of this variable rate, we're coming in with a nice fixed rate. Okay? Isn't that great? And during that whole time, we're guaranteeing you the amount of power you get. We actually have a production guarantee. If it underperforms, we'll pay you 
as well as make sure it gets up to where it needs to be. So going forward, what do you suppose all this is? Save money. Yes, make sure you ask the customer that. Even though it may be obvious, you still got to ask it. You want to get them involved. That's right. So this is just found money. Would have gone to them. Now it's staying in your pocket. Now at the end of 20 years, what do you think happens at that point, Mr. Customer? I own the system. Yeah, exactly. Not a, re a lease, rental, you don't have to renew anything. You own it. So now the savings get huge because solar, particularly high quality panels like ours, are just getting started. They're gonna to continue to power your house for years and years to come. Now we, just part of the package, already have the system guaranteed for up to 25 years. So you have ASD's guarantee, plus the guarantee of the, the product warranty itself. But the truth is it's gonna last even longer, okay? So that's just essentially free power at that point. Pretty great. Now, um, you mentioned how you might move, you're not sure, but maybe you might move after 10 years or so. So let's talk about that. We have a simple move plan. So first of all, you can see that you will have already saved a nice bit of money, a uh, considerable amount of money. Now you go to sell your house. Now when you sell your house, you're gonna advertise your house as a solar home, right? So all your potential home buyers are gonna come here knowing you already have it. There's even check boxes on the MLS listings now. So what you can do, you have two options. Um, one, you can transfer the program right over. So people come look at your house, you say, yep, I locked in my bill 10 years ago. We're still there instead of you know, way up here. So they will inherit your fixed rate, all the same guarantees and warranties, and they've got a half paid off system, right? Now option two is actually my favorite because there's no prepayment penalty with this program. You can just take that remaining principal amount and roll over the cost of the home. So now your new home buyer is gonna pay off your solar home improvement. And also you can ask more for your house because if it's an owned system that does actually add value to the house, People say, or you know, the studies say, average about 20, 25,000 home value to your house. So it's a pretty huge feature. Either way you look at it, it's a, it's a plus. It's gonna help you sell your home faster and hopefully for a little bit more money. Make sense? Cool. So um, do you see the value of this program? You wanna make sure you ask that question. Does this make sense? Do you see the value of this program? It should be not in their head, okay? And then you wanna go in for a little trial close, right? You've already talked about the problem. Here's the solution. It's pretty clear at this point, people are really making a decision whether or not they're gonna do this or not. We're not done with the presentation, but this is a pivotal moment. So just very calmly, but in a positive manner, you wanna say, great. So if, um, when we get your numbers, if I can show you some numbers that are about the same or less than what you're currently paying, and I can freeze it there for 20 years so it never goes up, is this a program that you'd be willing to get started with today? Right? Just, just ask it. You might get a yes, you might get a no, you might get a may well, let's see the numbers. Your confidence inspires confidence, and maybe there's some issue that you haven't resolved. And there might be an objection that comes out, you know, and then you can address it. Um, now, if you get a positive response, you want to make sure that you ask for referrals. This is a key referral moment. Okay, so if they say, yeah, numbers look good, yeah, sure thing. Then you want to say, fantastic. And I mentioned our referral program, $500 for every person who moves forward. So we're gonna set up your por uh, referral portal at the end. Um, so just off the top of your head, can you think of some people who really could benefit from this, who are maybe overpaying for electricity? Any friends, family? Okay, if you get some names, just break eye contact, write their, write their names down. Say, okay, we're gonna put them in the referral portal and uh, we're gonna start paying for your first year power. And that's it.